The FDA has granted emergency authorization for a new type of coronavirus test that could be cheaper, faster, and simpler. Now, it's called an antigen test. It looks for fragments of virus proteins and samples collected from the nasal cavity. That sounds pleasant. And it provides results in just minutes. But the FDA warns it has a higher chance of false negatives. Our Dr. David Eggis joins us with more on this to discuss. David, it almost sounds like a good news, bad news. Good news in that there's a new test with quicker results. Bad news in that you get a lot of false negatives. What do you think? Well, this is a very different test than the other one. The other one looked at RNA. So this is who has the virus. Looks at RNA in a very complicated, expensive machine. And hours later, it comes up with the result. This is instantaneous, looking for a protein of the virus. True, there's a slightly higher false negative rate. It's not dramatically higher, it's slightly higher. But the trade-off is you could do lots of these inexpensively. So when we talk about testing the whole country, which we have to do, this is the first of many tests that will look at the antigen to enable us to do this. This actually is a pretty big step forward. You call it, uh, you say it heralds a new era. What do you mean by that? And what exactly does the test show? That's what I want to know. Well, this shows whether you have the virus. The other one looked at the RNA of the virus. And again, it was more complicated, more expensive, and harder to do. This one is relatively easy. It is a quick test that a any technician can do. And it tells you, yes or no, you have the virus. Very important when we want to start to look at what we call surveillance testing across the country. This enables us to get to much higher numbers of tests in the country when it's being used. We're also hearing word about a, a, a home kit that tests your saliva. What can you tell us about that? Well, given the face you made, well, given the face you made when you said nasal swab, I think this is a good thing for you. That is, you know, you spit into a tube and it can be done in the doctor's office or at home to look for whether you have the virus or not. Initially, it was, you know, swab in the nose, the back of the throat. This is just as good and certainly in advance at a Rutgers University. Yeah, you know, David, I've heard that that nasal swab is very unpleasant or uncomfortable, which I think is Dr. Code for this is going to hurt. But when it comes to your health, I will do whatever you need to do. It's put on your big girl pants and let's do it. Now, there's a new study that we're hearing about. It's a new combination of three drugs that help relieve the symptoms for patients with mild COVID-19, mild COVID-19 cases. What are your thoughts on this one? It's pretty encouraging, right? So the last study that showed a benefit, the first study that showed a benefit with the drug was remdesivir in severely or seriously ill patient. This is mild patients. This is a drug for HIV called Coletra, a drug for uh, hepatitis called ribavirin, and a drug for multiple sclerosis called beta interferon put together and significantly decreased the time virus was present in the body compared to one drug alone. So we're making advances. This virus is druggable. I mean, it has weaknesses that we're taking advantage of. And I think this is the beginning of what you'll see is different drug regimens that work. And that makes our shoulders get down, come down. I mean, we actually can treat this virus um, and hopefully and stop people from going on ventilators in the future. Okay, before you go, both uh, the president and the vice president said they are not gonna self-isolate after coming in contact with people on their staff. Is that, is that good? It seems to go against everything that we're being told to do. Well, we don't know exactly how close or how long they were exposed. But I will say there's an expression, uh, to get normative behavior change, you need leadership. And I do think this was an opportunity for both the president and the vice president to show the country how you behave in such situations. So I, I don't know their personal risk. And it may be the right decision, but I think this opportunity for leadership was missed. All right, David Agus, thank you. I know we'll see you again very soon. Thank you, sir.